Well, the situation in Sri Lanka is escalating. The Defence Ministry has ordered shoot at sight orders at uh, any violent protesters. This as MPs are continuing to be targeted and MPs' houses have been burnt. The opposition has warned that there's a conspiracy to use violence as a way to actually impose martial law. This as ex-Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa and his family have taken shelter at a naval base. Protests are building outside that naval base as well. This as President Rajapaksa is still in power. Let's just look at the latest situation of what's happened in Sri Lanka today. Just a day after resigning, Sri Lanka's former Prime Minister Mahinda Rajpaksha and his family fled to a naval base in the northeast of the country to take shelter as violent protests shook the nation. Sources told NDTV that Rajpaksha and his family were flown in a helicopter to the naval base, which is 270 kilometers from the capital, Colombo. Here, two protests have broken out. Since Monday, the homes of over 50 politicians belonging to the ruling party have been set on fire by angry protesters overnight. These are pictures from a mansion that is said to belong to another Rajpaksha, Basil, former minister, which was also set ablaze. The opposition, however, sees a conspiracy. 17 houses have been burned and all the houses have been evacuated. There have been nobody in these houses when they were burnt. No security given to these houses. So uh, this is, and an, an a certain uh, group of MPs houses have been burnt and well, there are a hundred or more government MPs. Why have they been spared then? So this all looks very, very suspicious. Maybe this is all staged by the government itself. We are, we are yet to find out. Five people, including an MP, were killed in the violence that broke out on Monday when Mahinda Rajpaksha's supporters bust into the capital from the countryside attacked protesters with sticks and clubs. For weeks now, there have been peaceful mass protests across the country, mostly led by young people and professionals against the Rajpakshas and the handling of the economy. There is a huge shortage of food, fuel, medicines and other essentials as a result of the crisis. President Gotabaya Rajpaksha is still defiant and refusing to resign, while his brother Mahinda stepped down on Monday, but that has done little to calm public anger. Sri Lanka's main opposition party, Samagi Jana Balavaikaya, or SJB, today rejected the president's offer to form interim government under him. Instead, the SJB has demanded the president's resignation. As protests continued across the island nation, in one such instance, protesters had assaulted senior DIG in charge of the western province, demanding to know answers on who gave him the orders to assault the citizens. Mahinda Rajpaksha has stepped down as the Prime Minister. However, Sri Lanka continues to burn. Looks like the citizens of Sri Lanka is in no mood to stop because they also demand that Gotabaya Rajpaksha steps down as the president. Now the transition that they are looking at, how long is that going to be, is something the hope that they are longing for. Srija for NDTV.